Hi, welcome to Big Data Analytics tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a word count program in C++ using pipes interface. Before we go through the program, first we will understand how the program works using a very simple textual file. Let us say that the context of textual file is foo foo linux labs foo bar and linux. In uh, Hadoop MapReduce program, the first the input will be given to mapper program. The mapper program converts this particular textual file into an output of the format uh, key and value pairs. The key will be word in this case and value will be one. So the output of mapper looks something like this. That is the first output is foo one where foo is key and one will be the value. The second one is again foo one the foo is uh, key and value will be one and the same thing is repeated for all the words present in this particular textual file. Now what reducer will do is it will take this uh, output of mapper as an input and it will be converted or you can say that if a particular key is repeated the values will be will be added. So for example foo is uh, appearing three times the values will be added so that uh, the foo uh, three will be the output of reducer. And uh, similarly, the Linux is coming two times, it will be added, the values of Linux will be added so that the output will be Linux 2 in this case. So the input to mapper is the textual file. The output of mapper is a series of outputs consisting of key and value pairs, where key is word and value is 1. And these will be the inputs to reducer function. What reducer will do? It will take this key and value pairs. If the key is repeated, the values will be, in, uh, the values of those particular key will be uh, added and the result will be the uh, result will be given as a output. So the output of reducer will look like uh, the key and value pay, value pairs again. So coming back to the program, the program needs some uh, set of uh, uh, can say that uh, libraries. So first one is a string library is needed. std int dot h is needed so that we can handle uh, the long int errors. Pipes dot h and uh, string utils dot h h is required for to handle uh, uh, the mapper and reducer classes. Uh, we will create one namespace, a standard namespace. Now coming back to the um, mapper class. So the name of the mapper class is word count mapper which will extend uh, the Hadoop pipes uh, mapper class. And uh, this is the constructor which will, which will not do anything. It is just uh, uh, included as a part of uh, mapper class but it is not doing anything right now. Now uh, the next one is uh, there is a map function in uh, mapper which will take the input that is the input is in the form of context. Uh, what it does is uh, it will get the uh, uh, what you can say that the input uh, from the context it will read uh, the line of information. So that is the, in the, the content will be read and it will be put into a variable called as line. Now uh, the context is uh, the input in this case from this one it is getting the values and it will be put into line that is a textual file. So what is the next thing it does? It will divide that particular textual line into words. For example, uh, the textual uh, uh, content is uh, foo, foo, linux and so on. It will be divided into words and uh, the content of words in this case is uh, the list of words present in that particular line. Uh, the delimiter to divide this particular thing is a space in this case. Now uh, once the line is divided into words, those words, uh, uh, one one word will be read from that particular words list and then uh, uh, each word and value 1 will be uh, given as a output that is the word will become a key and value 1 value 1 will be the value of that particular key so first what we do is uh, we will use a for loop we will take uh, i is equal to 0 to i is less than words of size for example uh, this words list contains some 8 words so it will be read uh, this particular for loop will run for 8 times i plus plus and then uh, we will emit emit the output the output will be emitted using context that is context dot emit the word i that is the actual word let us say that the first iteration it is foo and the value for this one is one which will be emitted in the form of string so that is foo one will be emitted second time again foo one third time linux one fourth time bar one and so on something like that uh, the output will be given so these outputs will be given as an input to uh, reducer uh, function so the reducer class name is uh, word count reducer which will extend the reducer class actually 
and then uh, this is the constructor for uh, word count reducer uh, which is not doing anything right now and then uh, the input to this one is the context that is the output emitted by the mapper function so depending on the context the context in this case is it will consider the key and then it will go on incrementing the count value for every key it will initialize count is equal to 0 and then uh, it will get the value of that particular context for example uh, context dot next, next value context dot uh, foo context dot foo context dot lab something like that it will get and then that will be added to this count variable so so count was previously in 0 for foo what is the value so this particular value will be uh, extracted and it will be converted into int because that was added as a string in the previous uh, mapper function so it will be converted into int and then that integer value will be added to count so foo 1 if this is the input so first time count is equal to 0 so next count will become 1 if one more time foo 1 is coming so the value of uh, that context is 1 1 will be added to the previous value previously the output for foo was 1 foo 2 will become the uh, output in this case the same thing happens for different keys and then uh, the output will be emitted the output will be in the form of context dot get input key that is the word and what is the value value will be in the form of again uh, value is what in this case count uh, is not one here count means what how many number of times that particular key was appeared so foo was appeared three times so definitely it will be three in that case so linux has appeared two times it should be two so bars has appeared one time so it should be one so something like that will be the output of this uh, reducer and uh, uh, it will be emitted as a final output in this case and the main part of the program will look something like this so initially we need to uh, use the uh, what you can say i do pipes and uh, what we need to do is we need to pass uh, a mapper function and reducer function as an input to run task so these two will be given as an input to run task it will execute the program and the return the result will be returned in this case uh, this is how actually the uh, word count program in c++ looks like uh, the program was written using uh, a pipes interface now how to execute this particular program in uh, hdfs cluster so if you want to execute we need to follow four steps the first step is to run that particular c++ program so that we can generate uh, the object file so to run that one we can use uh, g++ and then name of the program that is word count dot cpp so uh, object file is word count now we need to include a uh, uh, the uh, Hadoop library where that particular uh, Hadoop is installed that is the first thing and the second thing is we need to install uh, you need to include what is that called as uh, what are where this particular uh, pipes interface is in, 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 installed that is the one more thing we need to include from this particular uh, pipes interface we need uh, uh, Hadoop pipes uh, Hadoop utils uh, uh, that is a p thread and then uh, crypto these are the different uh, libraries are required so we need to include all those things so once it is once it is included and uh, we execute this particular word count dot cpp we will be getting the uh, word count uh, object file now what we need to do is uh, uh, we need to uh, put our uh, input text file into the hdfs cluster so that is the text file on which we want to run uh, mapper and reducer programs so uh, just for example i have taken that particular line that line should be put into one uh, file and that file should be put into the hdfs cluster so first what we do is uh, we will create a directory to put that particular textual file using mkdir that is hdfs dfs minus mkdir this is the name of the directory within this directory what we do is we will put our textual file that is uh, hdfs dfs minus put minus put is used to put a textual file or whatever it may be into uh, hdfs cluster now what is the textual file name in this case the textual file name is uh, uh, this is the textual file and it will be put into this particular directory now what is the next thing we do is uh, uh, we will uh, put what we can say that uh, this word count object file into a bin directory so that is what one more thing we do there is a bin directory in uh, Hadoop cluster so we need to put this particular object file whatever you generated in the first step into a bin directory and then uh, one more thing we need to do is uh, before we execute our program in hdfs cluster uh, we need to check whether the output directory is already present if it is if the output directory is already present we need to remove that output directory so if it is a new output directory there will not be any issue if it is uh, already present in the hdfs cluster we need to remove it out so how can you remove it with the help of hdfs dfs minus rm uh, recursively we need to remove uh, the directory so here we are using skip thrash 
so that we can permanently delete this particular directory. So what we have done? First, we have executed our uh, C++ pro pro program that is C++ program using uh, G++ uh, compiler to generate a word count object file. We have uh, created a directory so that we can put our textual file into an HDFS cluster. We have put our textual file into that directory and then uh, this uh, word count uh, uh, object file whatever you have generated that is uh, put into a bin directory of HDFS cluster and then uh, we have removed uh, the output uh, directory if it exists it will be removed otherwise uh, nothing will happen and then we need to execute our program so to run or execute our program we need a map red pipes command which will take some different uh, what we can say that the uh, parameters the first parameter is uh, uh, whether it can read or write uh, uh, that data so we need to set it to true uh, what is the input uh, text file what is the output text file and where the uh, object file is present where the object file so object file can be mentioned with uh, program as a attribute so uh, word count uh, object file is present within the bin directory so we need to mention that particular path so what are the different uh, parameters to this one so map red pipes so first one is whether it is uh, 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 read and reading and writing is enabled or not we need to set it to true that's the first thing the next what we need to do is we need to mention what is the input file that is the input file we need to mention with the help of input attribute we need to mention what is the output file with the help of output uh, attribute and then we need to mention where the object file is present with the help of uh, uh, program uh, attribute once we execute this particular program the output will be generated uh, and then uh, we can check the output if everything goes fine in uh, uh, output uh, directory if anything is uh, wrong uh, it will generate an error we can go through the go through yarn resource manager so that we can check the log files to understand what is the error in our program so this is how uh, we can write a c++ program to count the word in a given text file using a pipes interface and then we can execute the program in hadoop version 2 I hope uh, the program and concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel for more videos. Press the bell icon for uh, regular updates. Thank you for watching.